folks. So this is my only play from Friday that I wanted to go over. I figured I'd jam Thursday and Friday together since they were both shorts. And I don't really take shorts very often, but I was watching Research in Motion, uh, or the ticker BBRY. So it gapped down before earnings on Thursday evening, and then it just kind of, you know, did a little move up between these supports and then it kind of started coming back down. So I thought, man, you know, if it's going to break down, then I want to watch that pre-market low for the breakdown, right? Uh, if you've watched my other videos, I like to mark pre-market high and low, and then I look for either a breakout or a breakdown from either level. So what I did, I was watching it live, obviously, and right here, it kind of formed this little bit of support right around 1010. So I thought, man, if this, if this is going to break, we'll probably see a pop. And then if it can get down through 10, you know, maybe it'll keep going. So I, I had it queued up in SureTrader. And again, I was just too nervous to actually, you know, hit the short button. And it, it dumped right through that 1008 right as it did. So let's say I had, I had done it and gotten in at 1008. I would put my stop up here above these previous candles, uh, above the 50, and then give it a little bit of a cushion, right? So this got up to 10, 16. I mean, it's just one cent above that. So the risk was pretty low. Uh, you know, 250 shares, nine cents. That's not even $25 of risk. But I figured it would, you know, with, with kind of the day, the pre-market bearish move it was making, that it would have been a, a good short. And had I done it, right, I mean, you can see this and it washed almost all the way down to this support level. So it's hard for me to say if I would have held through this move back up right here. I try to keep a pretty tight stop to lock in profits. I would have expected a, a little, you know, not consolidation here, but a little flag pattern. When you get a, a big move like this, you expect a little flag back, does the same thing, get a little flag, and then it goes lower. And generally, after the third time, you're probably not going to get any more. So if I had seen, you know, this is kind of a little red to green move right here. If I had seen this close above that pre-market low, I probably would have gotten out there for around 20 cents a share and just called it a day, you know, made 50 bucks. If you had more tolerance than me and or just left your stop loss up here or, you know, even above VWAP or this is the 50. I think I said this was the 50 earlier. Sorry, that's the that's the nine. But if you'd have had your stop up here, you could have safely held through this move and then you could have gotten another 20 plus cents on this. So if you would have uh, bottom ticked it, you know, this is 965. So that's 40 cents. You could have made a hundred bucks, uh, which would be great. And then, and that was as low as it got during the day. It, didn't, it kind of moved up a little bit, and then it just held that uh, right around that 985 level and, and kind of came back down to the end of the day. So I just wanted to show those two shorts. You, When you see things like this, so you see it move down, and then you see it kind of holding a certain level, you can put a conditional order in for when it breaks down through that level, and you're generally going to get that continuation move. So it may not be a lot. You might have to take a little more volume than you want to get the payday, but for me, risking nine cents a share, I got a, you know I would have probably gotten about two to one, which is okay. It's not great, but it's better than risking you know one for one. So that's it. Thanks, guys. Hey everyone. So I'm watching AMD again today. It had another gap up overnight, and I almost took it pre-market when it bounced off. Uh, 14 long and I was thinking it would move back up. I didn't because you know the liquidity pre-market is not as good and then when I saw this I thought okay you know it's having a, it's it, it's holding at 14 but it's making these lower highs so I thought okay I need I should take it short right here I was gonna get short 1398 which is this uh, yesterday's close and I should have. I, I, I was too afraid to pull the trigger because there was so much volume. But you see it washed 40 cents in three minutes. So I would have only had 175 shares, but 40 cents on 175 shares is 
what, like 70 bucks, somewhere around there. So I could have made a quick 70 bucks and then been done with it. So now it's kind of consolidating around this uh, pivot point. So we'll see. I would expect it's maybe going to continue down again, but we'll see what the bulls do. So it looks like a lot of resistance again on, on the level two. See, yeah, see a lot of red printing. It's going to be a, a bad day for the bulls on AMD.